Okay, everybody, this is D from Brooklyn with my latest update DIY project on what I'm going to call D from Brooklyn's DIY is affordable ways to make your hobby work for you without spending all the crazy bucks and enjoying yourself in the process. Today, what I have is for all you beta or breeding enthusiasts, you can use it for guppies, betas, whatever you want to do. Is basically it's a holder it's a breeder tank it's a holding pen you can use it for acclimation if you get new fish before you release them into your tank make sure they're healthy make sure you're they don't get into fights with your other fish and it's a little holding station I'm using it for my betas I got my female in there I'm feeding her getting her ripened up to see if she gets into the breeding mode so what I did is basically I took one of these holding pens you can get them from Petland they're anywhere between five and ten bucks you know I took my drill to it you can use a soldering gun a soldering a soldering gun like you can get for Radio Shack makes better holes because it's easier you don't have to worry about cracking the tank if you got a delicate hand you can just use a very good sharp drill bit and ease your way in there don't force it really hard what you want to do is you want to have uniform size holes spread across from right to left this way water will circulate or you can lift it out and it'll drain you can lower it back into the tank and it'll refill and keep your water fresh what I had I don't use it for the betas but what I did here is I drilled a hole in it for what I had a small power head I had a micro size power head with the body of it inside the container pushing water out you don't need to push water in you want the, the pump inside pushing water out that pulls the water from the tank into the container and circulates the water like I say I don't use it for the betas but it makes a great holding station and it's a beautiful way to acclimate your fish so that they don't get stressed out when you add them and you don't want to risk you know a uh, sick fish going into the tank of course I have a holding tank aside from that but you don't never want to put new fish straight into the tank but I thought this was a great DIY project you can use it for breeding you can use it for acclimation you can put your bag in there instead of putting a bag in your tank and floating all over the place with dirty bag or you don't know where the bags have been people never think about where the bags have been and they put the bags right in their tank with dirt and everything in them so this is a great way to uh, keep your sanity, keep your cost under control, and a little DIY project that you can do. This is just a little PVC I put there <laughs> because I keep that in there to keep a little gap, a circulation between the, the tank and the case, but you really don't need that. So that is my tip of the week, a little DIY containment center. This is D from Brooklyn, keeping my tanks and keeping my sanity and keeping the cost low. Till next time. See ya!